Hello guys, welcome to my class. Today we are going to learn how to design and analyze a cantilever beam. So what is cantilever beam? It is one end free, one end fixed. For the regular beams, their two sides are joined. For you can see their two sides are fixed. And for cantilever, one side is fixed and one side is free so let's start the tutorial open the stat for first go to new project click on space you can choose a name and choose the location length unit meter force unit kilometer then click on next click on add beam then finish it now we have to create two column first okay because the beam will on the column so first create a node so click here and switch off the snap node grid okay now select the node by beam cut node cursor select the node copy the node from your keyboard by control c and for paste the node control v it will goes in the y direction so that we are going to draw a column first height is 3 meter okay then click on ok zoom out now we have our column first okay now select these two or you can just rest the cantilever on this column you can clear also now copy the upper node control c and control v for paste the node in the y direction goes the or in the x direction it goes the cantilever beam on you can say the z direction i'm going to create an in the z direction it will be one point two meter okay then click on okay if i in the increase the length then it will fall okay you can check the length by using trial and error method okay now we are going to join the nodes by add beam okay. and join the nodes now we have our column and a cantilever beam okay now we have to fix the column go to support click on create select the fixed option select the support select the down node and click on assign to selected nodes then click on assign for assign then yes now the column has been fixed now we have to give a property click on define okay it will be rectangle in the yz direction it will be 0.3 meter and the z day, point two point click on add now it goes on the total structure so we go to assign to view in assign then yes we can check it with 3d render view now we have our cantilever beam with a column now to load apply the load on the cantilever beam for that go to load page click on load case detail click on add click on primary loading type date give a title date click on add then go to the live load you can design if it's non accessible you don't have to give live load if it's accessible then you have to give the live load okay then add it then 
close it click on date add the self weight and add a minimal load minimum minus one kilometer minus is the for the downward the force is working on the downward that's why we give the minus value okay now click on self void and it goes to the total structure and we go to the for the assign to few now click on assign then yes for the udl select the member or select the beam click on assign the selected beams as you we selected a particular beam and we go to assign for assign it then click yes okay and go to the live load click on add click on member load it will be the same as state load minus one kilogram in z in z y direction z y direction global y okay now click on add and close it similarly select the member or beam click on assign the selected beams then assign it then yes okay now we have done the modeling have to analyze it for that go to command analyze perform analyze click on ok then analyze run analyze save okay so there is no error no warning no notes so we have done a perfect modeling now we have to design it for that go to design go to concrete design select your code and going to select is 456 okay now select the parameters selected parameters we are not going to select all of these so click here and we will select clear select clear and click that for selected click compressive strength then click that and FYML AL strength select that that we selected the parameters then click on OK then define the parameters we selected okay the cover will be 25 millimeter or you can increase the cover okay so I'm going to give 25 millimeter for the 0.025 meter okay add the cover clear cover in compressive strength I'm going to give 20,000 for 20 km per meter add it then a five min four one five thousand then add it now close the design parameter now select the parameters and it goes to the whole structure so we go to assign to view option then click on assign then yes Similarly, compressive strength, click on assign to view, then click on assign, then yes. If I mean assign to view, assign, yes. Now we go to the command option, sorry, design beam, add and design column, add. Now for the designing the beam, you select the only beams and click on assign to selected beams and assign it yes and design the column select the column click on assign to selected beams and assign it now come down the design part and you have to analyze it go to comment analyze perform analyze ok analyze run analyze save Here also is no error, no warning, no notes. So our analyze.
is and the design is okay okay you can check the output file click on view output file done go to concrete design and you have the output data of top reinforcement bottom reinforcement okay what do you use for the top reinforcement use the bar size you can change the part size because you have the area of the steel as we say AST okay now if you want to see the complete design on model link double click on the member any member and go to this option concrete design and you see the design it is the cantilever beam okay now you see they are using the 10 millimeter diameter 2 now in the upper reinforcement it goes to start to end and middle also and for the bottom reinforcement it is the same 10 millimeter tab of two long bars okay in the bottom reinforcement you see the deflection here see the bm shear bending okay. go to post processing selected the loads okay now you can see the axial force you can see the shear on y how it works shear on z you can see the beam stresses the bending moment go to the beam option and you have the value here for the dead load live load for the column and for the beam ok if you want to check the actual force of column go to reports available and here if you want to choose what you need go to output and select what you need for the now i'm going to keep want to know the reaction so click on reaction select here we selected reaction then click on ok now we have the value okay or we can go to the beam option go to the stress you can check the curve for the cantilever this is the bending over curve see how the moments works so this is it this is how you analyze and design a cantilever beam for your building so keep practicing it and keep subscribing on my channel or if you need any help you can comment on the video or you can contact me personally okay so thank you